ตุ๊กตาเนี่ยบุตรเนี่ยสวยดาเนี่ยเราชื่อเนี่ยบุตรเนี่ยสวยดาเนี่ยเราชื่อเนี่ยบุตรเนี่ยสวยดาเนี่
ခေါင်းကိုဖြစ်စေနိုင်တဲ့အစီအနှစ်ပေါ်လေးနေစီထည့်ပြရတယ်လို့စိတ်ပိုင်းဆိုင်ရာမှာလည်းပဲဩဇ
and meeting with the Buddha Sasana, we need to practice the three trainings, the, uh, the three sekhas. The trainings or sekhas are things that we must learn and practice. We need to study them repeatedly and we need to develop them. The Buddha taught these three trainings because there are three grades, three levels of kilesas, of um, mental defilements that need to be removed. These are the vitekama kilesas, the transgressive kilesas that get expressed in body and speech, and the pariyotana kilesas, the obsessive ones that boil in our mind. And the third grade is the anusya kilesas, the latent ones, the ones whose seeds have not yet been cut off. These three grades of kilesas are removed with the training of sila, morality, the training of samadhi, concentration, and the training of panya, wisdom. And only when they are removed by these three trainings will the defilements of greed, hatred, and delusion, loba, dosa, moha, and so on, slowly slowly decrease and finally be removed completely. So because there are three kinds of kilesas that need to be removed, the Buddha taught the three trainings. Among the three trainings, sorry, among the three grades of kilesas, the grossest level of kilesas are removed by sila. The training of sila is what points out what we should and shouldn't do. Don't do that. Don't say that. Um, and each, uh, each of us has sila that is relevant to our life. For example, monks have the sila of monks. Nuns have the nuns training. And lay women and lay women, lay women and lay men have their relevant sila too. We must keep at least the five precepts. But here, uh, in this place, it's more suitable to keep the eight precepts. And if we can keep this sila unbroken, then the remaining uh, trainings will be able to uh, come about quite easily. So without sila, it's not going to be easy to develop the other two trainings. Just like we can only put food into our bodies when we have a mouth, without a mouth, we won't be able to eat. And sila is like the mouth. uh, When our mouth is good, then we're able to put food into our bodies and we can be healthy. Because sila is uh, like the mouth, what we need to do first is take the precepts and then we need to keep them unbroken. The training of samadhi, samadhi seka, prevents the kilesas from occurring in the mind and if they do occur, it dispels them. The training of panya, panya seka, cuts off the cuts off the potential for kilesas to arise completely. It, it removes the seeds of kilesas when panya is fully developed. And this will be discussed when Sayadaoji talks about the practice. In the, Buddha's, in the Buddhist text, there's a word called oja. Oja is something that is present in all types of food. 
its nutritive nutrition, uh, nu uh, nutritious essence. It's also called ahara in Pali. And everyone who has a body needs this nutrition, this oja, which produces strength. And you could call them vitamins, multivitamins. We have multivitamins that support us. Vitamin A, B, C, D, E, and so on. And these are contained in food. So only if we eat food that contains this nutritious essence called oja will we be able to move about. And only then will our bodies continue to exist. So just as we need to put this nutritious essence contained in food into our body every single day, so too mental oja, the nutrition for the mind, is also needed. We need to understand this. Sierra mentioned the rule of practice. Always, always apply mindfulness at every arising object. Whenever an object arises in our being, we need to observe it. So to know every arising object in our experience we need virya. We need to make the effort to observe the object when it arises. And we need vitaka, aim, so that our mind is in focus with the object. If we use these two, effort and aiming, courageous effort and aim, accurate aim, then if we use these two to note, to observe the object, then oja, the nutritive essence of Dhamma will uh, develop. So first of all, faith, uh, the mental power of faith to trust in that which is trustworthy, in that which is true. And then courageous effort to uh, stop ourselves before we do something wrong. And if we do to, uh, courageousness to admit that we have done something wrong. And sati, awareness, mindfulness, which protects the mind uh, by blocking out kilesas. And collectedness of mind, known as samadhi. The clear knowing of panya. The shame uh, uh, that will prevent us from doing wrong, hiri, moral shame, and moral dread, the fear of the consequences the, uh, that will occur, ota, that is moral fear, wholesome fear, called otapa. These are mental powers, and to develop them, we have to apply our, our mind to observing the object that arises at the present moment with aiming and effort. If we do this many times, then the uh, dhammoja, the nutritive essence of dhamma, will get into one's being. Sierraji's time is up for speaking. So in essence, what he wants people to understand is that just like we humans need nutrition, food that contains nutritive essence for our body, so too for our mind, we need to have something nutritious. Just like with our body, we need to avoid things that don't agree with us. We need to avoid bad food. We need to take food that contains enough nutritive nutrition, enough 
uh, wholesome th qualities for us to be strong. And we need to chew carefully. And when we do this, take the proper food, avoid the bad food, and chew carefully, then this, uh, the nutrition that is in the food can spread throughout our body and we can be strong. So we have to chew respectfully with the practice. Um, so just like with this, sorry, um, I lost my place. So we have to chew carefully uh, when we eat our food and with our mental uh, work also we need to be careful. So we have to cherish this practice which develops our mental energy. We should understand that the practice develops mental energy, supports our mind, so we should cherish it. And only when we have this uh, mental attitude of cherishing the practice will we work to be continuous with our practice. Uh, just like with food, if you just chew a bite of food one or two times and then swallow it down, you won't be able to get uh, as much nutrition. So too, with practice, you have to chew carefully, you have to practice carefully, practice uh, in a connected way with respect for the practice and with continuity. And when we do so, this nutritive essence will become very strong. It will develop amazing power and uh, will come into our body, into our mind. So the remaining part of this, of the time that Sayaroji has to speak during this retreat will be about how to avoid what is not suitable for us uh, in terms of the, men, the mind and how to uh, put in what is good for us. That's all for today. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. ဟိုကြာကြောင်းရောတာဝါဒီဟိုကြာချိုးရဆိုတာဘာလဲဆိုတာဘာလေးအကြီးကြုံဖော်တော်တွေတရားကိုပဲလူမှန်းစင်တ
ตีอาทุยามะนอกเสียกินนี่ดูลอลอดีอาทุเนี่ยหมู่ยาอุรัมยะซากูระเนี่ยเวญูจาทาบาระจังกะมยาเลเวดีลีเนี่ยเนี่
ဟုတ်ဒီဒီပြန်ဘာဝနာတရားအထူးရတဲ့ဘုကုရီဟာဘွဲစစ်ကပါလာတဲ့အောက်သူဖြစ်ကြီးရဲ့အရေးအမြစ
ตุจิตมาดิเปญญาฤวะนี่สุภัยสัญญาสวาอาฤวะนี่ทุจิตจาจาเปลละมาบาบาตาจาวะโลปุทธานุตติภาวนาโตมุตมะโกยีวะนี